Well, hello, hello, everybody on Internet Land. This is Michael Nerf 2005. We know it's coming, and I'm gonna be late to the party. But I gotta go through Final Fantasy VII before I can do Rebirth. One man voice acts this entire game. I'm gonna be shit at the female characters. And give me credit, I'm not trying to copy the voice actors. We're just gonna have fun and do our best. Are we ready? I'm absolutely ready. I'm absolutely gonna be using all the cheats. <laughs> Here we go! We gotta bring it full circle. We gotta go back to the OG. The one that made me want to be a voice actor. Because a lot of other things made me want to be a voice actor. But I'd set. This is in sixth grade when this game came out. And I just read the voices out loud. I had a pretty weird childhood. Let's just say uh, friends were not a thing I had a surplus of. But what doesn't kill you makes you strange. Oh, this brings back memories. This brings back so many memories. Come here, you. Come here, you microphone. We're gonna get intimate. Of course, the damn sheep is gonna start going off now. She wants the voice act. Mmm. These graphics are so old, but so tasty. Like, I don't care, this changed the world. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying 1997's old. Let me, why are you dating a dinosaur? Oh, Sephiroth. I'm gonna have fun with him. So when I was sick, I played this a little on my Switch, because I have it on that, too. So I got a little, kind of, idea what I want to do. Whether what's in my head comes out right, don't know, but we're finding out. My edgy little blonde guy. Come on, newcomer. Follow me! It might take me a minute to get in the voice. I haven't done voice acting a long time. Oh yes, active time bar. When I was a kid, I used to have that thing cranked. I don't know how I functioned. Go. Wow, you used to be a soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? He was in Soldier Jesse, but he quit. He's with us now. I didn't catch your name. Cloud. Cloud, huh? Um... I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. Hell you all doing? I thought I told you never move in a group. Our target's the North Mako Reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Next soldier, huh? Oh, I don't trust you. I'm not reading the tutorials. Especially just half of them are inaccurate. <laughs> it's a 
Growing up, I played the shit out of the demo, which is literally just the beginning of this game, but we had Tifa and Summons. We had random encounters in this spot? Sure. Free experience. Because I'm going to need it. Sorry for the kind of crappy title for you guys on Twitch. I really wasn't expecting to be bred that fast tonight. So Boba, you're a Sephiroth simp, huh? You in the Sephiroth fan club? Not the Zack Fair? The Angel Hewley? Or Genesis Rhapsodos? Yo! This your first time in a Mako reactor? No. After all, I did work for Shinra, you know. The planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but the Shinra keeps sucking the blood out of it with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just do it. Alright. You're coming with me from now on. Go decipher. A lot of the reoccurring characters are gonna get similar voices. <laughs> Go decipher. Sorry for the female ones. I am gonna blow at that every day of the week. Numa, 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 yay, free shit. One of the only things I might not sell. Do. Oh, we got another one that's gonna talk shit about seven ish. <coughs> Mind you, Zach's my boy. Little by little, the reactor will drain out all the life. And that'll be that. It's not my problem. Planet's dying, Cloud! The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robo guards come. Snoopals, snoopals, snoopals. I'm curious how Rebirth's gonna handle Sephiroth. Alright, we gotta get our murder on, so let's just go straight to the limit breaks. I mean, are you schizophrenic if you have Genova in you? I'm not super worried about spoilers. Everybody and their dogs done introspectives of this game. I'm just here to live my footprint on the internet so I can talk shit about by some kids in 60 years. Now I'm also gonna warn you right now, I'm accidentally kinda sounding like Cloud from Advent Children. It's cause I'm sick. Well, I got the Ronies. Add the Ronies. My voice hasn't recovered yet. Also, I will totally just break into my normal voice for him, because that's how I used to do it as a kid. Cause Cloud is absolutely a self-insert character. He is every fucking teenager's dream. He's edgy, he's got a big sword, the terrorists, all the girls simp over him. Yeah, this smells like 1997. What you gotta say is not interesting. I was actually watching Introspective where they're like, Yeah, he, he's not a warrior of light, no! He's an ex-soldier and we're going out and committing terrorism! Like, that fucking tracks. Like, you don't got armor. 
You're just this dude with a big sword committing acts of terrorism. Edgy as shit! Alright, I'm gonna leave the, those ones alone. Let's go to safety. Only in my head. I actually like Cloud, but he is like the easiest. Because Square mishandled him a lot with Advent Children going forward, including the Dissidia series. Like, because he absolutely owns it through Disc 1. Like, he fucking owns who he is. But then they got voice acting, they did Advent Children, and they turned him into the emo kid. And they just ran that! Pretty much up to Remake! I was like, not interested. I'm so depressed with my big sword. And all the big titty girls that like me. I think I'm gonna ride my motorcycle and be edgy. That was not the Cloud Strife I played in this game. Store. We'll blow this place. Ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Blow, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do what? Or just do it! I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, I'll do it. Watch out! He is, but... His backstory makes it worth it. This isn't just a reactor. I mean, they're all pretty tropey, because this is still when Final Fantasy was very tropey. What was wrong? Huh? What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up! Yeah, sorry. Heads up! Here it comes! I have to get Barrett's voice down. I was better with this when I streamed this the first time. Fortunately, I was right when I quit YouTube, so we're doing this again for YouTube. I mean, Sid's a fucking monster nowadays. I'm still gonna have a field day with him. And Vincent's just edgy. It was 1997, everybody was edgy. We didn't get a lot of those animes in America until 2001. Looking at you, Gundam Wing. I'll kill you. Relina. He is, and I'm inevitably gonna do Dirge of Cerberus. Puked in my mouth saying that. Gonna do Dirge of Cerberus. Um, depending on time, I know Libby and I streamed Crisis Core, but because I wasn't using doing YouTube again at that time, I'm I'm gonna go through that eventually. On my own, Libby doesn't want to be on YouTube with me. It's too permanent. I don't blame her. I'm the only idiot that needs to suffer. Come on, let's get out of here. Ten minutes to detonation. Do 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 bladder. So when we get to this two, I'm gonna elaborate more why I still like Cloud. Even though he's not interested.
murderize them. Wait, I have a new gun for Barrett. Hold up. Hold the fuck up. I can be, you skibbity toilet loving fuck. Mind you, I am probably the weirdest Final Fantasy fan because I absolutely understand how this game got overhyped. Especially in the West. Because I fucking love Final Fantasy VI. But I didn't. Because I was an edgy teenager. And I was just young enough that that was not my Final Fantasy starter kit. Is this where we're gonna be just being Boba beefing the entire time? I'm okay with this. That's one thing I love about games, though. We can all have opinions. And you know what? In the grand scheme of things, none of them matter because Square made a shitload of money. And then blew it all on the spirits with it. Which I watched while I was, like, on the fucking couch riddled up. <coughs> oh, it was. But people... <coughs> compared to the... In that same circle, absolutely hate this game. When I was in middle school, like, kids just... No more than three years older than me would fucking beef me because they're like... Final Fantasy VII is such bullshit. It's Final Fantasy VI. That's the real Final Fantasy. Ask Siri if she rears her head. Siri fucking hates this game. Mind you, I liked them all, and I want to learn to love Ten again, but I was in my edgy, weird emo stage. Playing Justin Timberlake wasn't my speed. But I've been watching a lot of retrospectives and learning to appreciate things that I was too dumb to notice when I was a kid. See, we can grow up. But yeah, believe it or not, it's... it's there are people that absolutely despise this game because it's not Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> there, there, there's that Roni. But other people love Ten and will die on that cross, like. I think that's what I like about the Final Fantasy VII series so much. It's like, there's people like you and me, and we might beef about some characters. We generally understand this series, especially in the 90s and 2000s, it's pretty badass. But, there are people that will die on some fucking crosses. It's kind of wild, I think. So one of the things I love about the Final Fantasy series before we got into compilations and sequels and shit, you could just have your Final Fantasy game. Through six, seven, four. Okay, nobody in, in the West played any of the others. They weren't available. And nobody cares about one. <clears throat> I should at least keep the planet going. At least a little longer. Yeah. Mm. Okay, now everyone get back. <coughs> You're really not gonna be able to pull the high pitched voices tonight. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Mm. Tastes like COVID. All right, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. Hey! It's about your money. Wait till we get back. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. I'm just kind of going to have fun with this. My Bloody Valentine is the... 
what Loveless was. I was like two days ago when I learned that. Excuse me. What happened? Nothing. Hey. Don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only one gill. Oh, thank you. Or the theory that Ares is a prost Aerith is a prostitute. I am gonna change her name to Aerith. It's <laughs> twenty fucking years later. I finally bit the weeb soda. Hey, you! Shinra soldiers. Fight them! I forgot to start the timer. I already have to be shit. When did you sub, Boba? Let me deal with that. Why do I not have time stamps? Let's fix that. I think it's because my chat's too small. Nope. God hates me. So when I gotta pee, I gotta pee. Sorry, YouTube kids. It's coming sooner than later. They used to. That was Siri's old big-ass thing. We're gonna tone that down because I can one-shot these guys. And I already got cross slash, so... Getting limit break level two is just murderizing 180 dudes. Now, uh... Boba, if you get too salty, I'm gonna have to go get my gun blade. Yes, I have Squall's gun blade. A full, full fucking metal one. It was $90 on sale on Impulse Bot! Heavy shit. I want to escape. Turn around. Well, that worked too. Ah, yes. When they made Cloud overpowered. I'm gonna inevitably have to do that one again, but the problem is I don't understand the junction system well enough, and I'm lazy. I don't think I can beat it. Nine I can probably deal with. But I always end up giving up. It's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab him! I just realized Cloud's voice is close enough. I watched Advent Children this week. I can use my legato voice. I just need to kill the accent. Cloud never came. Cloud. Think he was killed? No way. Cloud. Bush. Say, do you think Cloud's gonna stay on and fight for Avalanche? Hell the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? Hmm. <laughs> Y'all weren't such screw-ups. Hey, Barrett, what about our money? <coughs> uh, uh, nothing, sorry. <coughs> yeah, this is gonna blow my voice box for tomorrow at work. Everybody at once said cloud. Looks like I'm a little late. You're damn right you're late. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. 
It's no big scene. It's just what I always do. Motherfucker! I'm just gonna put profanity in all the sensor spots as well as I feel. Having everyone worried about that? You don't give a damn about no one but yourself! Hmm. You were worried about me? Whoa! Uh, uh, that's coming out of your chair, hot shot! Wake up! We're moving out! Follow me! I just made that flat. Hey, Cloud! You were great back there. <laughs> Cloud. We'll do even better next time. Careful. I'll shut this. Oh, Cloud! Your face is pitch black. <coughs> there you go. Say, thanks for helping me back at the reactor. This way. Um, blue, da boo dee da boo die. Oh, I forgot I turned record on for this. <laughs> Last train out of Sector 8 station. Last stop sec is Sector 7. Train graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgar Standard Time. This is why I ate the last train. Oh boy. I like this guy. This is my house, so make yourselves at home. Yeah, yeah nobody cares what you got to say. Yes, I know we blew it up. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. Why do I keep breaking into Sid? Please don't bother the other passengers. The strain hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that will change by tomorrow. Someday Avalanche is gonna be famous! And me too! Cloud, don't you think I got a bright future ahead of me? What do you have in mind? All my life, I felt like nothing but a sidekick. But after joining Avalanche and trying to save the planet, I feel I can do a lot of things. Yeah, as you can tell, my voice is cracking. Which is why I'm not trying so hard with Jesse. Plush, you know, if you've played this game. Hey, Cloud, you want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. This is why I used to have co-hosts! Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs, monitors, you know, flashy stuff. Should've just played Mario. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about a one to one thousandth or ten thousand scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other support pillars. Built in each section. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern sector. There's a number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to, we refer to them as numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. Hmm. Look what's next, look! Every time I cough, I pop another vertebrae, and I call that a win. This is the route the train is on. The route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. 
I hope my voice is better before I hit Aerith. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train. And is linked up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. Whisper, whisper. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Whisper, whisper. Speak of the devil. That light means that we're in a security ID check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now. What a relief. I know. Next time, I'll make one just for you. Looking forward to it. Okay. Then I'll put a little extra effort in and make it with a bang. Look, you can see the surface now. The city don't have no day or no night. If that plate were there, we could see the sky. A floating city, pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. Hey, I'm starting to get it back and get away from Sid. You just full of surprises. The upper world, a city on a plate. It's because of that fucking pizza. The people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. And why doesn't everyone move to the plate? Dunno. Probably because they ain't got no money, or maybe. Because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. You can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. I might have I might have bit off more than I chewed trying to do this again. He used to be a lot younger and a lot drunker last time I pulled this shit. gotta do the jump yo get over here y'all this mission was a success don't get lazy now hard part still to come don't y'all be scared of that explosion cuz the next one's gonna be bigger than that Be back at the hideout. Move out. On that note, we're going to take our breaky, breaky, bracky breaks. Yeah, we're doing all right on time. Cool beans. This thing's being stupid again as usual. Why are you like this? I don't want to spend $300 for a stream deck. Pretty buttons don't matter. I wonder if it's dead. Anyway, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. A wiggle, 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 bubble bonus, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. On that note, this is Michael Nerve 2005. I will see you guys next round. Stay tuned. Well, if you enjoyed what you saw today, feel free to click the random video YouTube has picked for you up in this corner. Also, don't forget to subscribe right there and hit that notification button. We'll be doing uploads as much as I can off of my Twitch channel. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.